woman who stayed close to Whitey Bulger even while he was in prison believes that his death was a setup. But she isn't pointing the finger at the mob or at one of his old associates. Here's WBZ's Beth Germano. I asked him how he was. I, he said he was fine, and I shouldn't worry. That was four months ago, the last time Lindsay Sear talked to James Whitey Bulger. Sear had a 12-year relationship with Bulger and gave birth to their son, Douglas, who died at the age of six. She's now convinced his murder this week in a West Virginia federal penitentiary was a setup. They were trying to kill him. You're convinced of that? Absolutely. Who was trying to kill him? Department of Corrections. And she believes Bulger's notoriety had everything to do with it. I think he had so many enemies, and he um, attracted so much attention that they didn't want him around anymore. Sources tell CBS News convicted Springfield mob hitman Freddie Gias is one of Bulger's suspected killers, a man who didn't like informants and Bulger was the most famous. Former FBI agent John Gamble, who worked the Bulger case for years, is surprised the Bureau of Prisons didn't provide more protection. If a person is, is, is threatened within a population, then they would do, take, take precautions because a person is uh, essentially in the custody of the BOP and they're, they're responsible. For him. Have they told you anything in this investigation? Nothing. Nothing. Bulger's brother Jackie said little today outside the family's South Boston home. But Lindsay Sear is doubting reports. Why do Bulger ever requested to be put in the general prison population? He was very quiet and very reserved, and he didn't need anybody else. The FBI has only said this is a homicide investigation. The West Virginia prison has suspended inmate visitations indefinitely. I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News.